Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. Myself Dayanand. Thank you so much for your all love and your support. We have successfully crossed 100 subscribers on our YouTube channel. And today, I'm with uh, Excel. Uh, let's continue with our Excel VBA 2016 Beginners to Advanced Edition 30 video series. So this is video part nine. And the topics we discuss on this is workbook, worksheet, cell, and range. See, uh, these are the basic concepts that everybody must understand before they start programming VBA. Uh, just like before you will learn how to uh, <clears throat> how to ride a bike, you need to know which is clutch, which is gear, and which is brake. Similar to that, you need to know uh, basic concepts like workbook, worksheet, cell, and range before you actually start programming on VBA. So watch this video till the end. I hope you would definitely love it. Okay, and before we continue, please do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed and please do refer to your friends who would like to learn Excel VBA. So let's get started. First thing, let's discuss some concept, a basic concept on workbook, worksheet, cell and range. First thing, what is a workbook is the actual file say i have a file here excel vba 2016 this entire excel file is called as workbook a book which is having sheets one two three four five you can have number of sheets just like a textbook just like a notebook you have a book and there are number of sheets similarly there is a book and there are sheets available so this concept very much required for you to know where you are programming and how do you refer it to that when you need to like you will be programming in VBA and if you need to refer to sheet 5 how do you refer that knowledge is very much required okay and all of you know what is a cell cell is just one single cell it's like a1 b1 c1 c2 b2 etc and range is array of cells like this array of cells just like say from a1 to a10 this can be called as a range anything more than one cell we can name them as range okay so this is a workbook these are the worksheets and one single cell is called a cell more than one cell in a row is called or in a column is called as a range okay these basic concepts you must keep them strong okay now let's get on with the uh, vba and then i'll show you some of the small snippets nothing but code which will tell you how do we refer using these on coding okay so i'll place some of the links in the description please do uh, watch them for complete information uh, the, the links for the library from microsoft so here i'll show you a bit of information uh, which and all we can work with workbook nothing but methods and then calling events like workbook dot add you can add a new workbook using coding you can open a new workbook you can close an existing workbook etc under worksheets uh, here are a few examples i'm giving so there are many under the link you can use them so worksheet dot activate suppose if i would like to activate sheet 2 i can mention sheet 2 dot activate in my coding Say the Excel switches to the sheet 2. Okay, so you can use multi. There are many, there are plenty of methods available. You can implement them in your coding based on your objective. And moving down to cells, already you are aware of this. I have been using this one single formula for, on many of my videos. So, cells to refer the, the cell in the current worksheet. So, first letter should be referring your row index, and second one will be referring your column index. For example, you will call them like this cells one comma one is that is the first row and first column, which is this. Okay. Uh, but here if you specify sheet two, then cells one comma one, then uh, the program will write a program will switch over to sheet two and comes on to A1. That is one comma one. Okay. Well, I'll show you those examples, not to worry now. And moving on to range so more than a cell in a row or in the column we call them as range so something like this a1 to b10 
inside uh, you can use them simply like range c1 to d10 like this is how you refer a range you may mention sheet 1 dot range sheet 2 dot range sheet 3 dot range and use them on your programming based on your objective so let me start uh, a bit of practical here please watch this carefully and implement it after this video okay and let's open vba editor we'll go to developer click on visual basic yes we have our vba editor so if you notice i'm not on any sheet as of now uh, for th for these examples i will be using modules nothing but a piece of code using a user defined functions so i'm going to call a function all of you should know all this already because we have discussed functions in one of the videos earlier so any program i write i should be writing between the sub and end sub first thing i would like to show you how do we add a workbook so if you notice here this is one simple so it's actually workbooks dot add that's it one single line workbooks dot add will create a new workbook an empty workbook if i press f5 on, or just run this you can see a new work excel created here called book one okay this is how we create a new workbook and this is not we don't use this much because we will be only working within the x within one single excel okay so let me close this and come on to the concept you must remember or should uh, get used to is to work with worksheets and cell and ranges okay now i am on sheet one if i would like to jump over to sheet two i can simply call sheet two dot activate okay when i say f5 you can see the sheet switched over to sheet two and now i'll use cells with the help of sheet sheet two dot cells one comma one i'll say mention my channel name learn and earn and when i say run you can see sheet two one comma one learn and earn has been typed and let's implement range so this time we will use sheet three dot i'm going to use range where i would like from a1 to b10 i would like my channel name to be appeared so make sure that you will really follow the syntax so including the double inverts and open and close brackets okay so that is now if we run the sheet 3 has been updated but i cannot sheet sheet 3 because i have not yet activated sheet 3 so let me activate sheet 3 or you can manually click here and see this from a1 to b10 channel name has been written you can also activate while you are on the other screen say so here if i say sheet 3 dot activate and the moment you run this program this moves on to sheet 3 and then yes you can see from a1 to b10 the entire values have been written so that was quick examples on how do we work with workbook worksheet cell and range hope you like this basic concepts and yes please go through the links in the description and uh, refer to the libraries from microsoft that will help you to build your knowledge apart from this on my channel when you go to playlist i have got some videos on earn money online money tips if any of you interested to learn how to earn money online you can certainly watch my videos on it okay please do subscribe to the channel and be excited from the next video we are starting uh, the 15 examples on excel vba macro 2016 uh, from beginners to advanced okay so these 15 examples will be real-time examples using all the basics knowledge what we have learned we will implement them and then start uh, building your own concepts on vba okay till then happy learning all is well thank you